I'm Catherine from Twinkle and today I'm going to show you my top five games that will help your child learn to read the graphemes and blends that they need to. Hmm, which one shall I choose first? I think I'm going for this one. Spider Spot. It's a game between two children. One turns over a picture and says what the picture is. The other child finds the correct spider and splats it. The picture can then be put on top of the spider. Of course it can be played independently. Barrier Games For this game, one child colours in a decided number of words in different colours. Keeping it hidden from their partner using a barrier, they then explain their pattern box by box. Colour in the word three in red. Colour in the word thumb in green. Colour in the word they in yellow. Colour in the word 30 in purple. Colour in the word earth in blue. The children can then remove the barrier and compare the sheets. Fishing games. This game takes quite a bit of prep, but it's definitely worth it. You need some paper clips, sticky tack, lollipop stick or something similar, some string and the fish pond printed with the fish cut out. Using a blob of sticky tack on the back of the fish, Stick a paper clip upright. Then tie the string around the end of what I've used as a pencil to make a fishing rod and attach a paper clip at the other end to make a fishing rod. Children can then use the fishing rod to catch a fish and read the word on it. They get to keep the fish if they say the word correctly and the winner is the one who lands the most fish. Find and sink. Children absolutely love this game. Both children need a copy of the same find and sink game and have to secretly place a tick on their chosen box. Then they can take it in turns to ask a question. If you are told no, then pop a cross in that box and keep asking questions in turn. You're trying to work out where your opponent's chosen box is. You can play this game traditionally, taking it in turns to reveal a card and trying to be the first person to snap when the two matching cards are placed on top of each other. Or you could use the cards as matching pairs. Make sure you encourage your child to say the words as they turn them over. Or you could cut the words off from the pictures and ask your child to match them together again. That's three games for the price of one there. So, which one was your favourite? Hopefully you've got some ideas of how you can help your child to read words using graphemes and blends they need to practice. Have fun and enjoy. See you soon.